Israeli forces are gearing up for a ground assault in the southern Gaza city of Rafah and have ordered Palestinian residents there to move ever further south. The United Nations is warning Israel against a mass displacement of Palestinians from the Gaza Strip. We would not support in any way forced uh, displacement which goes against uh, international law. More than half of Gaza's 2.3 million people are sheltering in Rafah, right up to the border fence with Egypt. They're subject to deadly Israeli strikes and dire humanitarian conditions. Aid agencies have warned large numbers of civilians could die and that there's nowhere safe for people to go. They tell you there's a safe place, but on the way they bomb people, Deeb Ghanam says. Many Palestinians say they fear a new Nakba, or catastrophe. That's when 700,000 Palestinians were dispossessed from their homes during the Arab-Israeli War of 1948. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has warned of mass displacement for months. This was his spokesperson, Stefan Dujaric, on February 9th. I think what is clear is that people need to be protected, but we also do not want to see any forced displacement, forced mass displacement of people, which is by definition against their will. Arab nations, especially neighbours Egypt and Jordan, strongly oppose any Israeli attempt to push Palestinians over the border. Egypt says it will not allow such movement onto its territory and has kept the border closed, only allowing a few thousand foreigners, dual nationals and a handful of others to cross. It has strengthened security and border defences in Sinai. Arab countries say Palestinians must not be driven from the land where they want to make a future state, including Gaza. Israel has dismissed all suggestions that mass displacement is on its agenda. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office says it has ordered the military to develop a plan to evacuate the population of Rafah. It says four Hamas battalions are deployed there. Israeli Agriculture Minister Avi Dichter told Israel's Channel 12 in November, this is Gaza's Nakba. In late January, far-right Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gavir publicly urged Jewish settlers to return and resettle Gaza, to rapturous applause. Palestinians said his words amounted to a call for their forced deportation. He prompted a reprimand from White House National Security spokesperson John Kirby. Irresponsible, uh, reckless. We have made clear that there can be no reduction in Gazan territory. Israel launched its war on Gaza on October 7, after Hamas militants infiltrated the border, killed about 1,200 people and took some 250 hostages, according to Israeli tallies. <laughs> Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Friday ordered the military to come up with a plan for the city of Rafah. 
both to evacuate civilians and defeat the last Hamas fighters there. More than half of Gaza's 2.3 million people are trapped there after fleeing fighting in other parts of the enclave. It has also become the focus of Israel's military campaign in Gaza. Israeli forces have been moving southwards through Gaza in response to Hamas's October 7th rampage in Israel by fighters who killed 1,200 people and took 253 hostages, according to Israeli tallies. But Israel has faced pressure over a potential ground assault in Rafah, including from its main ally, the United States. On Thursday, President Joe Biden said Washington would not support a military operation in Rafah without due consideration for civilians. The conduct of the response in, Gaza, in the Gaza Strip has been um, over the top. Israel says four Hamas battalions are in Rafah, and it cannot achieve its goal of eliminating the militant group by leaving them there. The Palestinian Authority, which exerts partial self-rule in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, accused Israel of trying to drive Palestinians from their land. Aid groups have sounded the alarm too, saying many Palestinians will die if forces storm Rafah. An Israeli official told Reuters the idea would be to move people in Rafah northwards before any military operation. But the UN says people should not be forced to leave en masse. I haven't seen them in a long time. Yeah, a few weeks. <laughs> Washington has been trying to get traction for a ceasefire this week. <laughs> Netanyahu just rejected a proposal for one from Hamas. It called for a months long ceasefire, freeing remaining hostages, and the withdrawal of Israeli troops. Netanyahu called it delusional and vowed to fight on.